Okay, today's card for the pattern paper challenge for myself for day 14. This is day number two. I'm starting out with this four by four piece of paper and a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. This is in black. And then I've got all these one inch strips. Um, one inch squares, excuse me, <laughs> cut up. And aren't they cute? They're little um, pencil shavings. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I have this little tool that is going to rough the edges. You can also do this with the um, blade of a scissors, of scissors, but uh, it, I always scared I'm going to cut myself. So I'm just going to use this instead. Let me show you. Okay, I got this tool from AliExpress, and all you're going to do is take one, put the paper in one of these grooves, and just run it. And it kind of just stresses the edges. So hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to do that on all the sides on all pieces of the paper. Okay, <clears throat> I finished doing all the edges. I put it on my piece of paper, glued it down with my favorite glue, which is Elmer's Scrap Bond. Um, I had to cut some in half to get this part down here kind of even where I wanted it. And then I'm going to cut this down just a little bit to make this a little even. And then we're going to put this on our card base. Okay, this is where we are with the card. I'm not really happy with it. I had to cut this in half to make it fit. And I just don't like the way it's looking. So I'm going to cut off this bottom row. And then we'll go from there. All right, here we are so far. I added another layer of pattern paper because I felt like it just needed a little something. I've got three stacked die cuts that say, hey, cut them out of black cardstock, and I've got them stacked on top of each other drying, and I'm going to add that to the card. Okay, here's the final card. So I added my little sentiment here and then some Nouveau Drops just to kind of bring it together a little bit more. Um, I'm not in love with this card. I know a lot of people do these quilt cards as a way to use up their scraps, but I don't know. I think I need to keep practicing. All right. Go make a card, send it to somebody, make them happy.